Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. We are focusing in on a viewer question that we got in and that was how to differentiate the difference between essentially the love bombing of a narcissist, uh, emotionally manipulative individual, physically manipulative individual versus that of a psychopath. Uh, someone who has a more uh, pronounced personality disorder. Someone who presents with a lack of conscience, uh, meaning that they really um, don't have a sensitivity awareness or behave according to a real sense of right or wrong. In other words, they exhibit much more uh, boundary violation and exploitation of those and are much more deliberate and calculating in the pursuer of those individuals who they target and oftentimes the targeting can go on for weeks, months, if not years in order for them to take basically the energy and the supply that they get and the gratification that they get from taking advantage of and fooling basically over, uh, pulling the wool over others eyes. Um, and so really the difference between the love bombing stage of a um, narcissist versus a psychopath is specifically in the presence of a psychopath basically who presents with I would say you know superhuman charm and they seem very much at ease they are extremely relaxed they don't seem to get agitated over anything they seem to be very laid back uh, they might tip their chair back um, you know, they might, um, you know, rest it on the two back legs, you know, kind of swinging their feet, you know, acting so very, very nonchalant as if nothing bothers them. They really don't care. And most people find this quite fascinating. They find this quite charming that this individual seems so lexadaisical, so apathetic, so carefree that nothing really seems to agitate them. Nothing seems to cause a, a ripple in their waters. Nothing seems to agitate them, even things that normally would agitate people. Uh, for example, um, you know, your dog passing away. Um, they just don't seem to have any emotional reaction whatsoever. They seem to be extremely cool, calm, collected, um, you know, things of this nature. Um, something goes wrong with the business and um, most people might be panic stricken or they might be agitated, present with some anxiety, and the psychopath just does not seem to flinch. They don't seem to care. Um, they know that they have um, insider information or they're going to do something to get around it. And likewise, um, with a fight or a spat, if they have gotten into an argument with you, um, they just they just seem to kind of uh, stare and gaze at you as if in they you know they almost seem like they're not really present. Um, they, you know, they're not really um, getting the emotional content of what you're saying. You could be blowing up in their face and they're just kind of standing there. Um, they just don't get it. And most people find this charming or um, I would say more fascinating. And um, also they present with really kind of an enigma. Um, almost like they're very mysterious. They say things that don't really seem to... Um, be utilized in most everyday common speech. They seem to be very puzzling. They might speak in riddles. Uh, they might speak in a lot of quips and strange comments and things which might, you know, originally cause a lot of humor. Um, but oftentimes they're planting the seeds for this fascination and they're trying to determine which what your weaknesses are and what you really want and what you're really missing in your life so that they can then fit in the gaps. Now the narcissist um, in the love bombing stage, you know, they might be, uh, have actually a quite a bit of anxiety. Um, they might be very high wired, high strung, very intense. And that's because it, they're so uh, consumed with really kind of having this superior presentation to the world. Um, they never really let their guard down. They're constantly working on their appearance. Uh, they're constantly trying to tell stories of their their great accomplishments, um, their uh, belongings, uh, their the you know expensive um, houses, uh, expensive lunches, expensive um, foods, expensive drinks. You know they're constantly feeding that that kind of image of them. So they're very much into the persona maintenance. 
And a lot of people find this charming. Um, they find this alluring. They find this uh, captivating because here's this individual who uh, has a lot of these sort of, you know, very egotistical statements or in the, you know, um, and so a lot of people, you know, tend to then look up to these types of individuals. They find this very charming and, you know, they then admire these people. Now with a covert narcissist, <laughs> they're charming, they're, they're, <clears throat> excuse me, their charm is more soft-spoken. It is in how soft-spoken they are, how smooth they are, how um, relatively unruffled they are, or how aloof they are. And so they seem to kind of separate themselves from the crowd by being so reserved, so retiring, and so aloof. And this can oftentimes be a source of comfort and solace to others who, you know, uh, most often, you know, the commonplace people, they don't really seem to have this uh, quality. And it can be quite, quite attractive to people. Um, you know, this very calm, smooth, unruffled uh, exterior. So I hope this video helps. Uh, peace and harmony with you here today. Please do share. Please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support.